Once again, Kansas City is a city of destiny in 2017. After 40 years, it hosts an historic meeting of Christian leaders from around the world in answer to Jesus' prayer in John 17. Broken hearts mended and minds reinvented. Whatever you breathe on is coming alive. God, you restore us, put glory before us. Whatever you love on is coming alive. Please put this date on your calendar. October the 24th through the 26th. You're invited to worship, pray, and come together with fellow members of the body of Christ as we seek Jesus and His heart for unity and revival. You make us, you make us Kairos 2017, so the world will know Him. heard, I heard the Lord say this uh, just two days ago. 2018 is the year of the Holy Ghost and fire. Thus ending the biggest church split in history. The most spiritually damaging thing is over. It's over. definition of quote racism it is the spirit of division who is Satan principalities powers rulers of the darkness of this world now when you're dealing with what happened 500 years ago that split got into the hands of wicked spirits in heavenly places God, it is for 500 years. What were we called? Protesters. What is a protest? Strive. It's, and the, we, we, hey, we haven't been known for the way we love one another. We've been known for our church fights. I mean, you, you got to know that. Well, that was the big one. And the longer it went, the more strength that devil gained. These are wicked spirits in the heavens because it got into governments. It, I mean, hey, this thing is huge. Just huge huge and I'm sorry to say most of the church don't know it's over but they better find out we may be living officially in a post protestant era but many Christians today continue to suffer from spiritual racism this is the sin this is the sin against the cross the cross unites but spiritual racism divides. 
It aims to divide that which Christ in his own torn body united. And if we elevate anything, if we allow anything to cause division among the body or to stop us from having unity as a body, whatever that thing is, whether it be a doctrine or an expression or some form of service, then we elevate that thing that causes us to be divided higher than the cross. The first step in dealing with spiritual racism is to abolish the law which empowers it. We need not to continue in the sins of our fathers. If we want, we can stop anytime we want. And I'm asking, I'm challenging by the Spirit of God that we as non-Roman Catholics, we, we stop continuing in the sin of separation that has been perpetuated through the history of the church. I haven't spent a lot of time in Catholic doctrine. But nowhere in the Bible does it say come together in the unity of your doctrines. That ain't never going to happen. <laughs> come together in the unity of the faith. heard I heard the Lord say this uh, just two days ago 2018 is the year of the Holy Ghost and fire 